Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I am with a new jewelry vase, jewelry jar. Um, uh, the Salvation Army recently had a BOGO event, buy one, get one uh, free, or basically the one, you know, at the lowest price free. So this is uh, one of four jars that I picked up. Um, mm. The choices weren't great. Many of the jars, they just took all the bagged items that were on the, the rack and stuffed them in jars. Um, so they were things that um, I probably had already picked through. But I thought this jar was interesting because if you look at the bottom here, these look like polished stones or marbles, something that might be interesting, might be useful. I mean, this giant plastic eye for crafts is not jewelry, but, you know, this looks like, <laughs> and I hope it's not, but it looks like a jelly bean. This is uh, one of those little light things you uh, put on the end of your finger. There's probably a couple in there, so, I mean, and some St. Patrick's little coins that are not very useful. That looks like another marble, but, hey. You never know what is hiding inside of the jars in between all of this other stuff. So some Mardi Gras type beads. There's something way back in there. Looks like seed bead made out of seed beads, little flowers, some shell. Um, not really sure if that's shell or, or no. It looks like molded in place beads. Some kind of a a pendant, perhaps. So. Uh, this was uh, $19.99, basically half price. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, come back after I've taken off the plastic and we'll get into this jar. Hope you're having a great day. I am so far. Okay, so I've got the top cut off and I'm just going to pull out the first, uh, probably do the first few baggies here. That looks like enough to get us started. Oh, there's some interesting things here. Well, let's let's do the obvious. Um, it looks kind of blue on my camera, but it's pr more purple in uh, when I look at it. LouisianaTravel.com. Um, so definitely real Mardi Gras beads from Louisiana. Um, Nolan. So the next thing that was at the top of the jar, because that. Uh, uh, Louisiana bead thing wasn't actually the top. This was at the top and it was stuck to the uh, tape. This is one of those, um, I think they're what, Jacob's Tears and things that look like oversized apple seeds. Um, just on a uh, fishing line. So that, uh, maybe I'll move this stuff away. There we go. So one of those uh, seed necklaces. Um, aptly made because I guess you know at one point seed beads really were made from seeds or size of seeds anyway and then this I thought this looks like a shell necklace in the bag but now that I see it it's got spring ring clasp and it's plastic and it's like it's kind of got those shell shell-like colors that uh, sort of shading of toward a little bit toward the pink I'm gonna undo it so that I can uh, try to get the tangle out because it looks very short and This tangle may be contributing to that. Okay. So these are nice, uh, a nice weight. They're nice and smooth. They don't, like they feel like a little better a plastic or acrylic. Now, yeah, that is a problem though, that they kind of get out of sync with each other and then they don't lie flat. I'm having to, I guess, I think I may be making it, well, I'm making it a little better, but you can see that it's not, it's not coming out easily. So, 
um, you know, I guess it's your regular 18 inches, but I think it would feel a little tight, a little close on the neck. I'm not sure. It's quite, I don't know if you can see it, but look at that lovely little sort of pinkiness in there. It actually makes it a lot prettier in person than it looks on camera. So if I can get it all to lie flat like this, I think that, there, let's see, it's sort of coming out. That would be a, quite a, a cute little necklace. I don't know how old that would be. So, put that to the side. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> bag number two. Everything's in bags for some reason. Okay, this is interesting. So, a silver tone chain with the hook and eye, or hook and ring, whatever you want to call it, clasp. And a fish pendant. And, hmm, that looks like Greek. Um, I don't know what it means. And then on the back, Okay. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting it to focus or stay focused. So I don't know if you read from top to bottom. I'll have to uh, see if I can uh, do an image search on the text and uh, let you know what it means. Very interesting. Nice chain if you, you to uh, repurpose if you didn't want to have the pendant, but that's just, uh, there's a little research project right there. <clears throat> Here's something that looks vintage. It's got that sort of golden pearl color that vintage pearls, I don't know if they turn that color over time, they get yellowy or... These ones are... Uh, Pretty, nice luster and everything, but starting to deteriorate. I'm just trying to get, there we go. Look at how beautiful these were originally. Look at, if you look at the, the color there, I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Maybe, yeah, look at the, the luster there. Really pretty. And a nice three strands, a lovely little clasp. This has a couple of rhinestones still. The center rhinestone's missing, but there's, and we're missing a rhinestone at the side here and a rhinestone over there. Oh, that's too bad. No markings. Maybe a little, maybe there's a, the copper starting to turn there. That's easily cleaned. No markings on the side on the clasp, but the clasp works. Unfortunately, the coloring is coming off of some of the beads. But it was they were they very nice at the time. Very nice originally. So it's too bad that uh, they're losing some of them are losing their paint. Yeah. That just sort of chipping and so on. These are, I don't know if you can like add a fixative to the ones that are in still good condition. I'll have to think, think about that. Maybe do some research because this certainly could be restrung as a two strand or some other kind of interesting thing could be made with the pearls that are still in good condition and again a good length you know a little longer than 18 inches so uh, that's quite pretty so nice another vintage I would say vintage piece so two two vintage pieces so far not bad for a, a jar that whoa oh this bag's no good there's some garbage here's a stretchy thing of what size six seed beads maybe 
six or eight. Oh, maybe eights. I don't know. I'd have to get my calipers out and check. Uh, pretty green. They could uh, be repurposed. It looks like. Oh, let me just see if I can focus this better. There. Well, I had thought maybe some of them had white spots. I think it's just reflections I'm seeing. Sorry about that. So there's some pretty green beads to be reused. <clears throat> this is wood, maybe? Wood that's been dyed and... and oh, I don't know what the... almost looks like it's been the... Just one minute. Let me stop my camera and figure out why it's not focusing properly. Okay, let's see if that helps. So this looks like the white. Well, maybe it is painted on. Yeah, I just sort of accidentally took some off. <laughs> and then these are little, I don't know, pieces of bone that have been carved and stamped. I'm not sure. Or maybe some type of like vegetable ivory, as they call it. Um, there's no clasp, just two little loops and some vertic lots of vertigree on the metal parts. So that'll probably be taken apart. Next item in a bag. Oh, well, these are interesting. Oh, it's like a little book here. I'll put it right side up. So a little peace symbol. Um, yin yang and a heart so I guess depending on, on uh, how you're feeling that day you can decide which one wants to go on the top well that's kind of cool and it's on a little uh, ball chain so I could see a, a teen wearing this good you know just under 18 inches in reasonable shape. I mean, it's got wear, but it's not, you know, that worn off whatever discoloration wear is just like it's been worn. I guess I'm trying to say it's not super shiny, but it could be a factor of just the uh, stuff that it's made out of, too. Okay, this is kind of short. Or it looks shorter than perhaps it really is. I don't know. Uh, lobster claw clasp. Um, nylon coated or plastic coated bead wire. These are uh, glass beads with a you know translucent blue. That one's cracked with a white center. So probably just made you know one cane. Uh, on the other wrapped but they're they're not great quality um, just clean that up and pass that on I, I wouldn't I wouldn't take the time to repurpose the beads they're not they're not great oh this is that one little thing I think I saw and mentioned from outside of the jar little flowers out of seed beads this is very delicate oh and it's stretchy oh that's kind of nice so, uh, no clasp, and it's, you know, a good length. Just It'll be just under 18 there, and um, pretty little seed bead flowers. This one's a little, well, I guess when you lift it up, it's not bad. That one's a good shape. That blue one's a nice shape. This yellow one's a little wonky. There, if we... I guess it's the just the fact that the beads are are um, are slightly odd sizes, so they don't uh, um, always make a round shape. But that's cute, and it's stretchy, and it's got the nice green in between it. A little touch of spring. Put that with the bead pile. I had a feeling this is probably suede, but it kind of looks like 
old dead elastic bands. <laughs> Excuse me for saying that. It doesn't look like much. Oh, and it's it's not a I thought it was a bracelet, but it's no, it's a necklace. Lobster claw clasp. And um a metal tube strung on the well it's short so maybe 16 it's very light it would be soft to wear I again um, hmm. I'm not sure who would uh, be interested in that I'm gonna put that one back in the bag <clears throat> um, this is a little gold tone chain spring ring clasp you know well I'm gonna say well loved because the color's gone that dark gold shade but still very wearable I don't know how well it would clean up no markings and it's just a chain so let's see if the if the spring ring works here Yep, there we go, a little short chain. Oh, chains are always useful. Good. Here's something. It must be for a kid, oh, what is this? Oh, this is one of those, is this like a pop? I don't even want to pull it apart, I might break it. These look like they go in the, like they pop in the clasp but uh, and I sort of pinky purple plastic beads molded in place go in the kids jewelry <coughs> and then there's this and I'm not even going to take it out of the bag look at the amount of verdigris on that I don't know if that's from like body oils, like look at the, ugh, yuck. So that's, you know, metal on, you know, probably on leather, but I don't want it to contaminate any other jewelry. It looks like it would be, let's see, there's that there and there's that there. There's not even a, there's not even a clasp on it. So, all right, we'll keep that separated. Oh, time for some more. <clears throat> If when stuff's in plastic bags like that, you don't get very much. Uh, you can't like p really pack it in the jewelry jar. But I knew I I was well aware of that. Oh, look at this. This is okay. Deeper we go, then we're getting into some more vintage stuff. But uh, this looks kind of cute. Look at these. Oh, they're not frosted. They're well. Are they frosted? Oh, they're bubbly. I thought they were frosted, but they're like a bubbly bead, bubbly plastic. Um, what's this? Is that just like an an old an old fashioned extender? Yeah, and so some of these have sort of an opalescent kind of look, and there's that's more like a pearl, a a yellow bubbly, that opalescent kind of thing. It's sh it sh you see more. I see more. Excuse me. I see more rainbow off the camera than you probably do see. Um, right around. And then a hook. Excellent. Oh, cool. Does it say anything on the hook? No. But this, just the style of this looks vintage. Though so it's, you know, it's not, not, it's really not as worn as those pearls. But it, look how short it is. Like, definitely... Someone has a very small neck. I wish I had my um, my measuring tape. I don't know where it went. Anyway, well, short but sweet. That is really cute. That would be so much fun to wear. You know, I add a, an extender. Nice pearl and that. Okay. If I ever make all the things I'd like to make. My life would never end. But, oh. 
Mardi Gras beads. These would be nice uh, Christmas time for uh, brightening up a tree because this is really long. Sorry. This is a really long set and they are a nice sort of bluey green. They're a little bit greener in person than they look on the camera. So, a set of those. So not the kinds of, these are, aren't necessarily the kinds of things, excuse me, I just can't, I, I've, uh, I'm, now that I'm over being sick, I can't get the words out. I haven't talked enough. Here's another little, um, so what is it going to say? I totally lost it. So usually um, when they're hanging on the rack, they're um, $2.99 each. Three for five ninety nine, three for six. So, I I would have no, probably picked up something like this because it's so pretty and vintage, um, even though it's so short. Because good weight. I I think these ones are plastic, but the other ones feel hefty, like there's some glass in here. So these ones might be glass too. Anyway, I digress. Um. So I would not have picked up the one the Mardi Gras beads I would not have bought those at three for five ninety nine, or the chains unless I was you know looking had a really nice looking chain that I I saw that I wanted to uh, put with a particular pennant so this is another nice little gold tone chain it's probably 16 inches in good shape so we got two night two two uh, reasonable looking gold tone chains they're not precious metal but they're still as I said um, reasonable looking. I don't know what this is, but I suspect it might be. I'm gonna guess that it's uh, an eyeglass thing, an eyeglass holder. Let's see what happened. Ugh. Yes, I was right. Okay, enough said. An eyeglass holder that can be because it's cord, it can be washed, it's got rubber ends, so it can be sterilized and passed on to somebody. Um, what is this? Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So here is a silver tone chain. It's, um, I don't know what kind of metal it's made out of it. It's not the usual. It's very cold. It's almost, it's not light enough to be aluminum, but it, for some reason it makes me think of aluminum. And it's got a little key with uh, rhinestones on the clasp, and the other end of the clasp is a toggle clasp. I don't think there's anything written on there. It's just maybe a discoloration. Yeah, I think it's just discoloration. So there's a cute little uh, chain. That would be great. This would be a nice like a charm bracelet chain. You could get like two out of it. <coughs> wow, we're about halfway through the jar. We might uh, have to do this in two parts. Here's a, a barrel clasp. Are these real puka shells or are these? They almost feel like glass. Puka shells don't feel this cold. I mean, they're certainly made to look like puka shells. But they're, as I said, they're very cold. They don't feel like shell. But, so that's, you know, very cleanable, washable. You could even add a, a pendant onto that. So that's repurposable or donatable, upgradable, um, not debatable. I, I was working with uh, alcohol inks today, and you can see I've managed to stain my fingers orange, and I didn't realize it. I was thinking maybe it was just uh, suntan. Wishful thinking it wasn't. So we have a little tag here, and it is, oh, it's 
Claire's. And that's really weird because the C looks like a D that's been cut off. Anyway, uh, well worn was a gold tone, you know, one of those snake chains. And, hmm, I don't know if there were little gems on here or something. There's these like silver spots, raised spots that are silver tone or, or like base metal. And the rest of it's gold tone. Lost, uh, well, especially around the edges anyway, lost a lot of its color. The pendant itself might be worth uh, repurposing in some way. <clears throat> Let me put that over there. A couple more things. Oh, this looks interesting. Ah, oh, it's slippery slidey. How does this... Okay, so here's, I guess, the pendant. These little dice dies a set of dice but what do you do with this do you it's not long enough for a necklace I mean it's way too short is it like a, a lucky bracelet or something like a, a something to put on a, as a decoration on a bag or something. I mean, the beads are cute, and they're on that nice little chain. They slide on that chain nicely. The whole thing is looks um, like the beads are not real cheap. They're, look, they're nice quality beads. But yeah, you can't you'd have you can't put it over your head to wear it, and I can't this doesn't slide or anything to make it adjustable. Okay. You could have a, a, a jewelry identification contest. Anybody, anybody who can identify this, let me know. That's different. I, I like it, but I don't know what to do with it. What or what you would use it for, or who would use it. Here's. This is interesting looking. It's a brooch. And I don't know, I mean I was gonna say a brooch and a, a necklace. I guess you could put a, a ring there to wear it as a pendant. It's is it supposed to be a W? A stylized W that's kind of where the the kind of silver tone on those smooth spots and then gold tone on the textured areas or is it just the way it looks in the camera yeah it's different the smooth areas are a different color on the front then interesting I've never seen anything like that. I wonder how old it is. It's got an it's it's interesting that the the way the clasp is soldered on here and almost textured like the rest of the metal as if it was made and then textured before it was plated. Cool. I wish jewelry could talk some days and tell us where it's been and where it's come from, who made it, who loved it. And this is kind of cute. It's can't tell if it's it's very stiff cord. I don't know if anybody's ever worn it because it doesn't want to even stay flat. But it it doesn't feel rubbery. It feels like leather or very heavily waxed cord cute little uh, flower no markings oh, I'll put this with the kids jewelry I'm sure there's a young person who would enjoy that 
Okay, well, I think this is enough for today. We can, we have uh, probably just one more video to go. Like there's some uh, interesting stuff in there. All the rocks, I don't think will take that much time. I don't think there's too many things in bags. So this is interesting. Let me pull this out first. I don't know what this is, but it looks interesting. It's some kind of a, oh, it's not a brooch. I was going to say it's some kind of a brooch. Oh, well. Okay, we'll do this one last thing. And then, uh, oh, the bag's broken. And then we'll have to come back for part two. Oh, this is cool. It is, it's like a belt buckle. Okay, this has got, I mean, something. It's got like a. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90. wonder if there was something where that little black spot is. No name, no marking. It's almost like there, yeah, there should have been something else inside there. See that looks like something broke there. There's a hole on the other side. So I bet, and it's just on that, um, Oh, is it polyester or whatever that uh, mouse mouse tail cord they use for a lot of crafting things? So I bet this is just a broken something, and it could be thrown away or repurposed. Oh well, I will let you go. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I think the highlights, in terms of the prettiness factors, are these. Uh, little daisy beads. In terms of the vintage factor, these are just so, so sweet. And uh, these, in terms of the, the quality of what they once were, uh, for the ones that are uh, not chipped, it would be nice to do something with that. And this, I'll just have to, you know, figure out how to keep it untangled so that it's it, somebody could wear it. So, And this... This is a little bit of research. Well, take care. Bye for now. And I'll be back again in another week. Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And I hope you have a great day.